Hello and welcome to how to create hyperlinks to files in a folder. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I was recently asked the following question. Is there a way to make a list of files in a folder and include hyperlinks? And I'm gonna answer that question in this video. Exercise one. In this exercise, we're just gonna get warmed up with using Power Query to retrieve the list of files. Get data from file from folder. Browse to our data folder and click open. Next, we click transform data. This opens the Power Query editor. Now, at this point, all of the files in that folder and any subfolders are going to be listed. If we don't want all of them to be listed, we can simply use these filters. For example, we can apply a filter based on the name. We can apply a filter based on the extension, key dates, and the folder path. In our case, we're going to include all of them. So the main thing I need to send forward is the folder path and the name. So I can remove everything else. So I'm going to click folder path. I'm going to hold down the control key and I'm going to click name. And then I'm going to click remove other columns. And that's going to give me the folder path and file name. Then I can close and load to table in an existing worksheet. This cell is fine and I click OK. Now the nice thing is I can have Power Query rebuild this list anytime. All I need to do is click refresh. And that's step one. How do we use Power Query to get a list of the files in that folder? With that warm up complete, let's head to the next exercise. Exercise two. All right, we're gonna modify that first query. So what we do is we click on queries and connections and we can double click our query to edit it. Now we need to combine the folder path and name in a single column. We have a couple of choices here. The first choice is we can add a new column or we can merge these two. Either way, it's just personal preference. And let me just show both methods. If I wanna create a new column, what I'm gonna do is select folder path first, then name, then click add column and then merge. I have some options, so depending on what you're working on, you may want to investigate them. Here I don't want any separator and I can just click OK. And now I have the original columns plus my new merged column. The other option is just to bring one column forward. So let me remove this step. Let me click on these again. And instead of clicking add column, we just click transform. Now we use the merge column commands from this tab and click OK. And now we have one column remaining. Either way is fine, it's just personal preference. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select both of these, add column, merge, click OK, and now we have three columns. Now what I can do is close and load and send it back to Excel. And now we can see the results of our original query has been updated to include this merged field. With that complete, it's time to build the hyperlink. Exercise three. In this exercise, let's build the hyperlink column. I'm gonna go back to my data table and I'm just gonna add a new column called hyperlink. Here I'm gonna use a function called equals hyperlink. The first argument is the link location, which is the value in the cell to the left, comma, then we have a friendly name. You could leave this out or you could just do something like link, you could do open file and you get the idea. Close function and enter. And now we have a hyperlink that we can click to open any of these files. And again, since this was built with Power Query, we can update this anytime by just clicking refresh. Hey, hopefully this is helpful. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user. If you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University.